All right, taking a live look at the U.S. Capitol building as the Senate is expected to go ahead with its planned one-week recess. This despite ongoing talks to raise the nation's debt ceiling. Well, the House Speaker wants something to look at this weekend. Lauren Blanchard is in Washington with more. President Biden spent Thursday in Japan ahead of G7 summit meeting starting Friday. While back home, a debt ceiling crisis is now just two weeks away. Negotiators have been working behind the scenes to find some sort of compromise. Speaker Kevin McCarthy has said he wants a framework deal ready by this weekend. He and his party have insisted any deal come with spending cuts, like what they put in their already passed bill. We told them we have to spend less. We told them we're going to negotiate only off our bill. And and so we're sitting in the room trying to get this done where we can get this done to be able to move forward to stop our inflation, get us off the dependency of China and get America working again. But without Democrats on board, the House bill will never pass the Senate. Meanwhile, senators are leaving town for recess. The negotiations are currently making progress. As Speaker McCarthy has said, he expects the House will vote next week if an agreement is reached and the Senate would begin consideration after that. A group of Democratic senators are urging President Biden to use the 14th Amendment to go around Congress and deal with the debt limit himself. That move would likely face a legal challenge. Let's be clear. What the debt ceiling is about is paying money that has already been appropriated and spent. It has nothing to do with future budgets and future spending. Leader Schumer told senators they will have a 24-hour notice to return to the Capitol once a deal is reached. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox 32, Chicago.